Okay, so um, GBP NZD, beautiful double top here, beautiful double top. So if I go to the four hour chart, you can really see it. One, two, um, a level that I've scored off of um, on several occasions. Well, at least traded off of, didn't score here or here, but it made up for it here, so it didn't matter. Um, but this is a known key level. I, I should have been paying more attention and uh, I don't know what the fuck I was doing here. Wow. There's all kinds of trades off of this key level here. But anyways, um, yeah, I should have been paying attention. Should have been paying a lot more attention. I think one of the things I'm going to do here is this and add an alert uh, for this area, for this key level. Um, because the truth is, is I'm not perfect. Key level. Just dumb it down for myself here, right? Key level look to short um, each time it touches this area, and uh, that'll kind of be an ongoing theme probably for a while until we get above it or we have a huge breakthrough or something. Um, but yeah, on the one hour chart, it, it's kind of messy here, obviously, but there's a play here, and I'll show you what it looks like to enter something like that. Um, If I would have caught this, let's pretend like I saw this whole uh, situation here. It would have been something like this. Um, and so we're looking backwards in, in time. So with that said, there's no uh, pivot point that I can base a uh, stop off of, but I can base it off of price action. So I'd put it above uh, the most recent high uh, in, that, in that area, in that vicinity. And then my um, my price target would probably be right here, right where there was crowding. Uh, my first price target, at least, something like that. Um, and then my second price target would probably be all the way down to the EMAs, so something like that. Two, two to one. But I like this trade. I like this trade a lot. Um, key level trades. Again, this is like. If we're talking back testing, um, this is like my second go to. My first go to is the pyramid reversal strategy, obviously. My second one is going to be this uh, this key level play, and uh, just wanted to put that out there so you guys can see the the thought process behind it. Um, obviously, we move this over a little bit, and my entry would actually have been right here. So this is a good thing about chart analysis first versus like live trading or even a demo account. Is you put the emphasis on what you should have done, how you should have reacted, how you should have been thinking versus, hey, I'm going live in a position right now and then I'm gonna stare at my account balance to see how much money I, I'm making or could have made. Um, make no mistake about it, when, when you're really doing this live, you don't want to be making this a dollar and cents uh, type of transaction. This needs to be based on the analysis. It needs to be based on what the price action is doing and your reason for getting into situations, getting into these plays, um, all about the patterns. So, all right, rant over. But yeah, y'all check this out. GBP and ZD, um, great learning opportunity, great opportunity to kind of dig in and sharpen. Um, I wasn't even looking at this one for the week, but I'm going to go ahead and click it now. But yeah, thanks.